with the guys again this is me again on my farming channel here i'm into the garden i actually did some chicken birds today so i'm gonna show you guys what i did um today is actually a very very weathery day i've just received a share of rainfall upon my chest my back and my pants you see my shoes are all dirty so it's a garden day today and actually i'm gonna be showing you what i'm gonna be doing today actually i'm gonna be in the cleaning up process which i promised the video that when i'm cleaning up i'm gonna show you guys what i'm gonna be doing so here today we got some cucumbers and some salad peppers in between so i'm gonna give you guys a better look on this so i got them in a row and this is the row with the salad peppers from here i got them in branks and then i got another row of the cucumbers again so if you take a good look you're gonna see that the whole place down there sorry about that so you're gonna see that the whole place down there is full of cucumbers I actually did a recent supplying today and I've given them a cleaned up yesterday because I'm experiencing the rainfall right now and cucumber loves water so this is not a problem actually the soil that I'm using here is a very very sweet soil it's not really a holding water soil and I'm also happy for the hill which helps the water run down the slope uh, so it don't settle so I got this here, which is the cucumbers. They are pretty great. You know, the whole field here is cucumber and salad peppers. Here also I got some parsley, which are looking quite great. Uh, I've got them on beds, so the beds are very long, all the way down there. So my next focus is on to the other side. What I did is I got a rake. I will recommend anybody doing farming, you got a rake. It helps with the process of controlling the weeds, keeping them away from growing at a very fast rate, even if the rain is falling. What I tend to do is, normally farmers say when you, uh, when you weed your beds, you put the extra pieces of extra you see the waste the waste grass back into the, the drain but i won't recommend you do that because normally not all not every uh weed dies when you reach them up some of them take back the root back into the ground and if the rain is falling it's going to be very hectic for you so these are my cucumber um sorry not my cucumbers these are my passion fruits I've striped with them. I got a little setback from them, from animals and stuff like that, but I'm very grateful for where they are right now. And it takes in the hard work. So it's a very big species. Fashion fruit, as you can see, the leaves. The leaves are very big. It's very wide. I'm taking very much care of it because I want a lot of plants from it. And it's just my first phase. I got other passion fruit trees, which is already bearing. I gotta wait for seeds but this one especially it's a very particular passion fruit so i want to take very good care of it i want to make sure i have enough plants to actually supply my whole garden because i want to send passion fruit all the way up to the trees i think i'm going to back them i gotta have the process ready but i'm not quite ready for it as yet but i'll start getting passion fruit here soon so i did this bamboo setup to do my first movement so here is what i did again today i actually um did some of my sweet peppers cleaning up yesterday also together with my lettuce planting so as you can see again the tree is very short and it's it's actually bearing even every cluster of flower